Now it's safe to say that Saints Row recently hasn't had the best track record when it comes to bugs, so if you're sitting there thinking the reboot experience is buggy, I've got something to show you to brighten up your day and maybe make you feel a little bit better about that reboot. I mean, the reboot's not that bad, right? No. Not again. Flippy, get out of my head! Ah! Okay, so the reboot is pretty bad, but hey, I'm gonna show you how to exploit Saints Row 4 and it's absolutely hilarious and it's in one of the cooler missions of the game and it's so unbelievably easy to break that I think pretty much anyone here can do it. So, let's get straight into it. So the glitch we're doing requires us to be on the mission Zero Cool. It's where you're in a big mech suit trying to save Matt Miller. Pretty memorable mission, I imagine a lot of you won't forget it if you've played Saints Row 4. And I also recommend, but you don't need, to have the unlock it all cheat. I did this without it, but it is a lot easier with it and it means that if you mess anything up, you have a bit more time to react as the mech upgrades basically increase the amount you can hover for so I do kind of recommend having it but it's not necessary so to start off you want to just go in and directly fly towards this direction off the bridge it's just towards the right it's super easy to understand and you want to basically stand on this sort of ramp looking area and you'll find out that the wall next to this actually has absolutely zero collision so you can literally just fly through it yep it's that easy so you want to also land on this sort of ledge bit it's easier to see in game than it is the video as it's quite dark but then you want to basically fly directly up and you'll see the red thing you can land on this if you need to regain your boost but you want to fly over towards this barrier where the little red arrows are and land on a sort of piping looking bit it's super easy and you'll be able to regain your thrust and then from here you'll see forward there's a few platforms that's basically where you're going to want to fly towards again it looks quite dark in the video but in gameplay it's a little bit easier to find and you'll start to see the map kind of glitch out and render certain things in so you want to land on this platform here to kind of have a bit of a mini break and then get ready because this is one of the harder bits. You want to take flight and then go and wrap fully around to the right. Now if you keep wrapping around you'll be able to find the ledge where you're supposed to stand. Now this can max out your boost if you haven't got the cheat on. Of course if you have the cheat it'll be easier but I'm trying to direct it so if you don't want to use the cheat you can still do this bug. And then you want to basically look forward from this point onwards and fly alongside the weird circular rail looking thing. And then you want to go directly ahead and you'll find a sort of ledge ramp. It's really easy to spot and you want to land on that. So this is basically another safe spot where there's some decent collision so next up you want to basically just direct yourself forward and land towards this corner over here this will basically allow you to finally get some oh fuck 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 okay whoopsies we want to actually go this way through the wall and go towards the right corner first i totally forgot to do this in the first take of doing this so that's not at all embarrassing at all and you want to land on this little ledge here and then you can directly fly over and it's easy to stay where you are now i actually messed this up again for a second time here because you can kind of fall so this bit of collision is kind of a tricky part but once you're on it you're on it for good again with the cheat this is easy and this is just so we can regain our thrust so you might actually be able to avoid this if you have cheats on but i recommend doing it anyway then you want to fly fully around and then you'll see these sort of spawn rooms for the zin this is where the zin spawn to come out and attack you so you want to land on these these are more safe spots basically where you can regain your collision and kind of do it so just keep hopping between these up until this point now i will warn you this next bit is quite easy to mess up so just make sure you're doing what i'm doing directly i myself had to do multiple takes of this part so this bit's kind of easy you want to land over here but then you want to kind of fly to where there's some collision this barrier here is usually where i go to you can kind of just land down here on this sort of wall but again it's easy to fall back into the map here which would kind of suck and then you want to wait for your thrust to go and then you can climb on top of this big ass pipe i don't know what you're gonna do up here but but th there you go and now we're kind of really breaking the bounds so on this part and this is the important bit you want to land on the podiums you do in the actual game so you can see there's the circular bits in the game where you actually are supposed to land now for some reason on top of the map these also have more collision obviously designed for something so you want to keep landing on top of these and this is a good way to make sure you don't accidentally fall into the map and just keep directing yourself forward as if you were playing the game normally and then we're basically be able to get to the end of the game's area before we've even killed the first people or broke any of the repair boxes it's kind of wild so again just keep directing yourself this way and then you want to take a right when you start to see the big red pipe area and now you want to basically just kind of follow the map along where it will take you again this part's really easy just be careful not to fall into the map the best thing to do is land on these weird pipe structures um it just makes things super easy and it's just what i would do personally but again just follow these like weird pipe structures throughout the map and basically at this point all you want to do is follow where the mission would generally take you and as you can see it will kind of guide you towards where you want to be so keep flying forwards keep going basically towards where the mission would take you you can directly follow me if you'd prefer but it does kind of get easy to understand as you go along and as you go forward you may start to spot things you recognize just that tad bit more so if you look slightly forward look at where we are yep the very end sequence of saint Row 4's mission it makes no sense that you can literally just fly through a wall and get here but hey saints row baby what did you expect 
But I hear you, Saints. We only play Saints Row 4. This is too long and complicated. Our brains can't understand it. I get it. I understand too. I'll show you a way faster and easier method that will literally be done in about 30 seconds. And it's absolutely wild. Now, you can't get to quite as many cool places with this unless you do have the cheat. Without the cheat, this one is either impossible to do or really, really complicated and over complex that doing the first method, even though it's longer, would be way easier. So, let's get straight into this one. So with this one, just play through the mission normally till you get to this place, then fly up to this box. It's super easy with the cheat, you can fly really far. Then you want to look up and to the left and you'll see this corner where there's lots of things kind of connecting. Now, you literally just have to fly up here. That That's literally it. That There's no barrier, there's no glitch. Now, if you are trying to do this without the cheat, which I don't think you can do, but you want to land on a little barrier here if you're going to do it. I'm going to show it off for the sake of the video. But again, I just really recommend doing it with a cheat. So you want to land on this little ledge here if you haven't got the cheat, as you can't make it to the next area. But if you are genuinely going to do it with a cheat, you literally can just fly up to the place to our left here, where I'm going to land here. Now, to make sure you're in the right place, you want to go towards this wall, and you'll see a small, thin line. So come from up there, up to here. Look for the thin line, you can see it on the wall, and then congratulations, there's no hit detection. Yep. Now, it's very easy to get stuck up here, so just be careful, but it's it's literally that easy. You just fly up, and and that's it. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I get stuck here, but you, you can see now you've got full access to where we were before. Now, it's a bit limited compared to the other method, as you didn't go through the whole way. Some parts of the map aren't really functioning. I also think that when you hit this point in the level, some bits of the map kind of de-render for some reason. It just makes more barriers, and it's kind of harder to get there. But make sure you don't get stuck like I did, or you have to restart at the checkpoint like I did. But yeah, that, that's it. You literally can just fly through a wall. <laughs> I don't understand how that's a thing, but yeah, anyway, whilst you enjoy this gameplay and me kind of playing through the glitch and doing it, I hope you did enjoy this video, I hope you kind of learned something new about your game, and go try it out, it's really fun, and there is quite a lot to see, I wouldn't be surprised as what if any more little glitches come out of this location, I think that the second you learn how to do this, it's just super easy. Um, again, it's just kind of wild how there's no barriers in place, there is nothing stopping you doing this, you can, once you have a single cheat, just fly. I mean, it's further proof that cheats are fantastic, and it's kind of just funny to watch. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. Take care, everyone, and I will see you soon. what i would do personally again it's really easy to fall here i think i actually do fall in the gameplay but i'm probably going to cut that out because who cares oh no actually you know, we'll keep it in everyone can laugh look at that look i fell isn't that embarrassing oh wow what, what, what embarrassment oh my god i'm a look at me trying to save it now look at me trying to save it oh wow this is so embarrassing oh my god this is so embarrassing oh wow everyone look look at how much i failed i fucking suck oh my god this is awful why would you watch me flippy wouldn't do this you know Flippy won't do this.